Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Today we're home because of this big ice storm that hit the upstate of South Carolina. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity of course to practice some friction fire skills. I like the thought of being able to take one single grocery bag, and of course this one's from Walmart, cutting it down and reverse twisting it into a bowstring. So let me show you how I do that. I've already made a video before on this, but this is what I want to practice today. We're going to cut the handles here and here. Then we'll split it down the side. which will leave you with something that looks like that and then this will split down the center now I got two long pieces here and I'm gonna put you on time last because it'll take a while to reverse twist this and hopefully you can watch it grow on time lapse what I ended up with it looks like from from knot to knot it is 20 inches but this needs to be stretched so let me stretch it because that will even out all the twists and there's a certain point to where it will stretch and then stop so let's see how much we end up with after I stretch it Alright, that feels like that's all it wants to stretch. Let's see how much we got now. Twenty-four inches. It stretched about four or five inches. Because when I took the tension off of it, it shrunk back up just a little bit. But now that is tough enough to drive this mullen spindle. And I think this is an oak fireboard. And I just got this stick right here. It's got a slot cut in this end and a slot in that end. Clean it up a little bit. Probably off camera I'll take my lighter and go ahead and clean it up better. But uh so now I'll just hold this in. I put a wrap around my hand. Probably wrap the mullen spindle twice. And that will work right there. Just like that. Now when you see me using this technique, a lot of times you'll see me stop. And what you won't realize is I'm taking the end of that bow I'm pushing it against my leg to tighten that to tighten that string up on that spindle. So that'll let you know what's going on when you see me stop. And of course I can use my thumb too to get a little extra pressure on that bowstring. Alright, let me get set up and we'll go try it. Alright, let's see what we can do with it. Should work pretty good.
and I do have a bearing in my bearing block and it just so happens that the end of this spindle right here just happens to fit into it but if for whatever reason that it breaks out I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, masking tape on there and I'll overlap it until it extends like that and then I'll twist it and we'll use that for a nipple to go up inside of there but that may hold up and once again we're using the oak fireboard when you use mullen you can use any old fireboard because the entire ember is going to be from the mullen itself so let's see if we can make a few friction fires oh and the rain that you hear is not rain it's all of this snow melting I live under the trees and so it sounds like a steady rain but it's actually the ice and the snow melting off the trees let's see what we can do with it go ahead and wrap my hand first can you see that I'm going to wrap it around those two fingers and use that knot right in between there. Now, I give myself a little slack. Uh-oh. And do a double wrap on the spindle. And every time I stop, I'm going to be pushing that end right there against my leg to get that bowstring tighter. Let's see what we can do right with this. And we have an ember. You see how fast that turned cherry? That's the way mullen does. Mullen will burn up pretty quick on you. Pretty easy, wasn't it? Now if I don't get a bunch of smoke in the face, let's try it again. First thing I want to do, oh I stretched out a good bit. First thing I want to do, is to wrap those two fingers and get that knot right down in there that I'm holding on to. Give myself a little slack right here so I can get a double wrap. And then I'm going to push that in right there against my leg. We are ready to try for another ember. When you're using this technique, the double wrap technique, your bow needs to be pointed downward if you wrapped it the way I wrapped it. That so 
sorry about that. My boss was just calling me saying we're going to work tomorrow. I did not have my phone on airplane mode, and every time I'm making a video, I get a phone call. So, uh, let's go for our second ember. Bow strings doing good though, isn't it? Bow strings hold up just fine. Oh, they're tighten it up. Another ember. It's all because of that mullen. That mullen is easy to use. All right. All right, let's go for the third one. Let's see if we can get the third one. It's working out pretty good today, and it's good to have a couple work out good when so many, so many that you have to struggle with. All right, let's go through this one more time. I'll get that knot. Up into the center of my hand. Leave myself some slack up here for the double wrap. Tighten it up by pushing that against my leg. And another big fat ember.
There it goes. Well, that went pretty easy, didn't it? All right, y'all. I see just a little bit of fraying on there, but uh, this bowstring could crank out a whole bunch more embers. And I just wanted to show you that a plastic grocery shopping bag make a great bowstring. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.